Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting edition of Manga Geekdom here on YouTube. Today we're going to take a look at the hotly anticipated manga releases for the month of August. Now, a couple things before we get started. With every video, I always mention this, I like to point out new volume ones. I'm not going to talk about volume 20 something of an ongoing series because that's a much harder commitment for a new collector than say a volume one of a brand new series. Also, I like to highlight new updated editions, whether it be an oversized hardcover, an omnibus style release, or some manga box sets. Now this month was actually pretty odd in that the majority of the releases are for ongoing series and the newer ones are on the minority. Some of the releases that I'm going to mention in this video happen to be spicy in nature. They are not safe for work, but don't worry, I'm not going to show anything that would incriminate you in any public setting. Don't worry about that. The majority of the new volume Volume 1s happen to fall under 7 Cs, so you could say this was a mostly 7 Cs anticipated release video for the month of August. The first book we're going to talk about is from Seven Seas Entertainment, The Strange House, Volume 1. This first began publication back in 2023. It's a seinen crime mystery horror story written by Uketsu with art by Kyo Ayano. I've always had a fascination with the occult. You might even call it my specialty. I've been brought in as a consultant on many supernatural and strange mysteries, but nothing could have prepared me for this house. It seemed so ordinary at first, except for that one room. It had no doors, no windows, and was tucked away, leaving anyone to think it was just a wall. I knew that there was something more to it. It shouldn't be there. It shouldn't exist. And yet, just what is this house, and what dark secrets does it hold? From Kodansha, we have Opposites Attract, Volume 1. I hope I said that right. That's a weird one. This is a Jose Slice of Life manga, which first began publication back in 2022. Story and art by Hono Natsuna. Chiharu's bold personality in a petite frame strikes a contrast in every way to her scaredy cat Rottweiler, Subuchan. And the same could be said for the sturdy but shy Kiyotaka and his outgoing Pomeranian, Monjuro. Yet for these inseparable pairs, their long walks together are the highlights of the day. One encounter leads to another, and before long, these two unusual duos find their feelings changing. Also from Seven Seas, Tokyo Revengers, A Letter from Keisuke Baji, Volume 1. This is an ongoing spin-off from Tokyo Revengers, written by Ken Wakui, with art by Yukinori Natsukawaguchi. The Tokyo Manji motorcycle gang has carved out a reputation as the toughest band of delinquents in Tokyo. No matter who stands against them in a fight, no matter how bad the odds are, Toman always emerges undefeated. Yet its members all carry the scar of Bloody Halloween, the night when a showdown with a rival gang saw their first division captain, Keisuke Baji, get murdered. Months later, Vice Captain Chifuyo Matsuno is struggling to make sense of what happened when he receives a letter from Keisuke Baji, written on the day of his death. It stirs up memories of all their years together. From Seven Seas Entertainment, she's the strongest bride, but I'm stronger in night battles. A harem chronicling of advancing through cunning tactics, volume one. This is a not safe for work, ongoing fantasy isekai harem series that first started publication back in 2023. This is written by Sing Yogaku, probably butchered that, and art by Arino Kamati. Compelled to marry a royal demoness and put to work on the battlefield and in her bedroom, Albert Albert finds his new life in another world anything but peaceful. Yet thanks to his knowledge of Earth's history, Albert is able to launch a revolution and is having a ball doing it alongside his sexy demon bride. Another series from Seven Seas, we got Killer Shark in Another World, Volume 1. This is a comedy fantasy seinen series that first started publication back in 2020, story and art by Kuboken. Everyone thought Shiromi Love Cut Toothro was the worst summoner in the world, but after she summons Shark Killer, a creature capable of transforming into Hollywood's most ferocious B-movie shark, nobody's laughing now. In fact, they're running for their lives, with her bloodthirsty buddy chomping at the bit to kill everyone in sight, can Shiromi defeat the Demon King and end his reign of terror? Or maybe the realm would be better off if she didn't. 
From Seven Seas Entertainment, The Concierge at Hokyoku Department Store, Volume 1, a fantasy seinen series that was first published back in 2018 for 10 chapters and collected across two volumes. Story and art by Tsuchika Nishimura. Working retail is tough enough with regular customers, but what about when they're owls, wolves, koalas, and a woolly mammoth? Welcome to the Hokyoku Department Store, where new employee Akino's customers are talking animals, including extinct species. Just like any shopper, each has their own complicated requests that Akino must strive to satisfy. Not from Seven Seas, actually from Yen Press. Okay, here we go. Hachioji Specialty Tengu's Love Volume 1. This is an ongoing shoujo yokai romance series which first saw publication back in 2021, story and art by Tomo Nanao. Upon his return to his hometown near Mount Takao, the lonely youth Kotaro reunites with a Tengu girl he used to know, Hime. To his shock, Hime decrees that they must be wed. Intent on marrying Kotaro, will Hime be able to break through his walls and build a happily ever after with him. Here we have our second not safe for work release. <laughs> we have Do You Like Big Girls, Omnibus Edition, or the Thick Edition, Volume 1. Oh god. Uh, this is an ongoing not safe for work sports harem seinen series, now collected in two in one omnibus format. This is written and drawn by Goro Aizome. The big girl era has finally arrived. Oh my god, what am I reading? Thanks to his sister's scheming ways, Sota was roped into becoming the hall director for the girls' varsity volleyball team. Being so short, he's the perfect target for their merciless teasing. Can the diminutive Sota stand up to these Amazons and conquer the high hurdles of life in an all-girls dorm? For Sota and his harem of big girls, it's victory or bust. Now I do want to point out and give some commentary here. I have been challenged by my Discord community to review this series, so don't judge me too hard if you see me talk about the Big Girls Omnibus Edition at some point in the channel. Oh god. From Yen Press, we have an ongoing erotic harem seinen series. So yes, this is a not safe for work book. It is Strategic Lovers Volume 1. This was first published in 2021 with story and art by Sancho Kwamido. Kota Higashiyama's father is the enormously wealthy founder of a corporate behemoth, but his mother was the man's 23rd mistress. He thought the issue of succession and inheritance had nothing to do with him, and it didn't, until he was suddenly kidnapped as a candidate to be the next chairman and dropped in front of five beautiful girls, all of whom are in contention to become his lover. But is his whole life really all about choosing whatever and whoever he wants, or will Kota himself be the one to be chosen? From Viz Media, I want to do bad things with you, volume one. This shonen romance series ran from 2022 all the way to 2024 with 71 chapters collected across 7 volumes. This series is written and drawn by Yutaka. Mamori Wataya is used to being a nobody. She lingers in the shadows of her high school, dismissed by everyone around her. That is, until she meets Soshi Fuji, the school's notorious troublemaker. Fueled by her deep admiration for villains, Mamori quickly becomes captivated by Fuji's devil-may-care attitude, and together, they embark on a rebellion against the status quo. After discovering that Fuji lives in the shadow of his popular and perfect younger brother, nicknamed the Prince by all the girls at school, Mamori offers to help Fuji derail his brother's campaign for student council president. But as Fuji's audacious pranks pull them closer together, Mamori discovers there's more to like about Fuji than his just villainy. We're back with Seven Seas. They are putting out Too Many Losing Heroines, Volume 1. This comedy romance story by Takibi Amamori with art by Itachi was first published in 2022, and it is based off the light novels of the same name. Popular girls in Nukumiso Kazuhiko's class seem to have it all. Good looks, lots of friends, and the hearts of all their crushes. Except not upon witnessing the shocking turn of events where the popular Yanami Ana gets friendzoned by the boy who has crushed on her since childhood, Kazuhiko starts noticing all the fan favorites are getting similarly turned down by the boys they like. Surrounded by heartbroken heroines, can he keep their spirits up and make sure they don't give up? Or is this a rom-com world where the girls never get their dream guy? 
from Kodansha, Kusunoki's Flunking Her High School Glow Up, Volume 1. This is an ongoing romance Jose story that was first published back in 2022. It is written and drawn by Mitsuki Mi. Keisuke Shizuki might have been an outcast in middle school, but not anymore. The trauma of being rejected by his first crush left Shizuki with a phobia of pretty girls and the drive to remake himself and start high school fresh. New looks, new friends, new confidence. That is, as long as he avoids the cuties and anyone who knows anything about his past. Unfortunately for him, the prettiest girl at his new school just happens to be his former middle school classmate and another ex-outcast, Shizuka Kuzunoki. Unlike Shizuki, Kuzunoki still lacks the social skills to make the most of her new appearance, and she wants Shizuki's help. But helping Kuzunoki will mean spending a lot of time around a beauty and drawing some not-so-welcome attention. From Seven Seas, we got Hate Me But Let Me Stay, Volume 1. This is an ongoing BL drama from 2018, story and art by Hijiki. Ever since the assault that led to his unexpected pregnancy as a teen, Koga Naoto, an Omega, has harbored a deep fear and distrust towards alphas. He's even convinced himself that he doesn't need a mate. After all, hasn't he raised his daughter, Shizuku, just fine on his own? Still, at the behest of his concerned mother, Naoto reluctantly attends a matchmaking party. There he meets Tsuchiya Hazuki, a teenage alpha who declares that Naoto is his destined mate. Naoto does his best to ignore the young man's advances but can't deny the way he feels in Hazuki's presence. Can Naoto overcome his fear and admit that maybe, just maybe, he might not hate this one alpha? From Seven Seas Entertainment, Cat Companions Maruru and Hachi, Volume 1. This slice of life seinen series started publication in late 2021. It is written and drawn by Yuri Sonoda. Maruru lived a pampered life, till one day he ran after a flock of sparrows and couldn't find his way back home. He encounters Hachi, a tough stray, who says he doesn't need a spoiled house cat on his territory and chases him away. But then Maruru helps Hachi out of a jam, and they team up to face life on the street together. From Yen Press, we have Riviere and the Land of Prayer, Volume 1. This fantasy series ran for 16 chapters, collected across three volumes, and worthy to note, this is a spin-off to Wandering Witch, The Journey of Elena. Story by Jogi Shiraishi and art by Azure and Neriume. After Riviere saved her from dying on the street, Magmilia chose to start working as her new assistant. The enigmatic Riviere runs an antique shop where she specializes in dispelling troublesome and sometimes dangerous curses. Magic, witches, prayers, and the curses they turn into mean there's never a dull day for these two. And the last Seven Seas book on the list is Someone's Girlfriend, Volume 1. This is a little not safe for work, with story and art by Nikumaru. Riku can't get Shizuku out of his head, to the point where she's invaded his dreams. Then one day, she stops by his house and comes on to him hard. Do whatever you want to me. The catch? She's his best friend's girlfriend. In their last year of high school, a dangerous romance brews. From Viz Media comes the first of multiple all-in-one editions of Studio Ghibli adaptations into hardcovers. This is My Neighbor Totoro Film Comic All-in-One Edition. You can now revisit one of Studio Ghibli's most beloved classics in one deluxe hardcover edition. 11-year-old Satsuki and her sassy little sister Mei have moved to the country to be closer to their ailing mother. Soon in the woods behind their spooky old house, Satsuki and Mei discover a forest spirit named Totoro. When Mei goes missing, it is up to Satsuki to find her sister, and she'll need help from some new and magical friends. And a quick side note for those of you that are confused, this is essentially still frames from the motion picture set in sequential form as if you're reading a comic book, of course with uh, the sound effects and all that fun stuff. Now collected for the very first time in one hardcover book. 
And finally from Kodansha we have the release of Fire Force a box set volume 1. Kodansha has been giving Fire Force fans another way to collect the series with the release of the first box set which collects the first six volumes of the series from Atsushi Okubo. In the year 198 of the solar era the city of Tokyo is plagued by a deadly phenomenon spontaneous human combustion. The only ones who can stop it are the Fire Force a team of specialized firefighters. Shinra a young man blessed with the ability to ignite his feet and travel at the speed of a rocket wants nothing more than to be a hero and knows that this is the place for him. He joins the company at Special Fire Cathedral 8, a team tasked with discovering the source of this strange epidemic. But many obstacles stand in their way and there are secrets haunting our hero's past. So there it is folks, some of the most anticipated releases for the month of August. Even though it technically is not my fault, I do apologize for including so many Seven Seas releases. It just happened to be one of those months where the majority of the new volume ones were by one specific company. I just found it funny that I was just going Seven Seas and then another Seven Seas book. But you know, that's part of the fun. Let me know in the comment section which book you're most excited for and what are some other releases you are highly anticipating. Let me know know down below. And if you want to keep the conversation going, I do have a Discord. The link is in the description for this video. I would appreciate it if you join. It's an awesome community of manga nerds talking about all the cool stuff from films, anime, games, manga of course, and so much more. So that's up there for your consideration. Thank you once again for liking, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the channel. I truly, truly do appreciate it. I've got to go. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.